My life has been up and down since a young boy growing up in South Central Los Angeles in a single parent home. And when I look back at my life, I look at the choices that I made, I look at the choices my parents made and the circumstances that allowed me to become criminalized at a young age. When you come from middle class America, mothers and fathers instill the power of education. I didn't realize that until later in life. When I was in prison and I began to build relationships, is when I begin to understand how cultural differences and exposure develops the human mind. So now I'm in prison washing dishes. I help the cooks prep food and cook. So then I start cooking with these guys. And the rest they say is history. Yeah. Caseworker brought me to USA Today about the top black chefs in America. Yeah. I read about Patrick Clark, Rob, Robert Gatsby, and Marcus yeah. Hamilton. I said, I want to be like them. Yeah. That was my goal when I came out. Yeah. And I got my second chance. I had to build a brand. Everything about me had to say brand, brand, brand. Why? Because everyone at the Rich Carlton, Hotel Bel Air, Lair Mataj, Five Star Properties, the Bellagio was polished. So then I just started moving in my career, working my way up. It wasn't easy, it was a struggle. Because it was like having a bullseye on your back. A black man, convicted felon. No formal education, never been to culinary school. But a man who discovered his greatest gifts and his weaknesses in the darkest place. <laughs> What is it that drives your intensity uh, in the prison to be able to look at your life yet change it? There was no one aha moment. I think the cultural diversity in prison, you know, the first time I ever sat at a table with a white guy and had a meal was in prison. The first African I ever met in my life was in prison. And when those men from diverse backgrounds saw something in me that I never saw in myself, saw something in me that my parents didn't even see, allowed me to really believe that I can do this. I've always been driven since I was a little boy. I was always that kid who made something out of nothing. I was that kid who was able to create a meal out of canned food, government cheese. And once I was shown the way, and I built up the confidence that I can become a chef, and I can change my life. I knew that one day I would be successful.